gave him my herd, too. They took him right from underneath our noses. I tell you, I'm not going to stand for it. I'm not going to raise a lot of horses to have these outlaws right away on him. I'm going to find gonna out... They're going to stop yelling at me, Hank Jameson, and give me some help. I've told you a hundred times. I'm a sheriff, not a whole posse. You and the rest of these ranchers better get me some gunslinging deputies, or I'm not going to be sheriff much longer. Well, I think we got some help for you, Sheriff. Some real help. I've been talking to the governor. I've just been telling him about all the trouble we've been having with these rustlers. And he told me he's just authorized the formation of some state rangers, made up of some of the best men in the territory. And he's promised us their help. He's sending us enough of them to help us get our herds to market. Rangers? That's more like it. When they coming? Well, I don't know exactly, but there's one of them due in here tomorrow with all the details. We're to get our herds in some secret place and wait for his instructions. That sounds good to me. That was mighty nice of the governor. I thought so, too. That's why I took it on myself to offer him the pick of our herds as mounts for these rangers. Wait a minute. You mean just give them our horses? Well, as many as they need. And for the token price of one silver dollar, yes. The governor's calling on all citizens to help support this new group. We can't support it with money, but we have got some of the best horses in the territory. You might call it our contribution. Well, that's a good idea. I'm willing to give the best of my herd to uh, help protect the others. You can count me out, Mr. Foster. But I don't understand, Steve. It's the least we can do for the help they'll be giving us. Well, not me. I haven't lost anything. I don't need their help. Well, you're one of the lucky ones. Most of us ranchers have lost over half of our stock. Well, that's your hard luck, not mine. I've worked hard to build up my stock. I'm not going to give them away to anybody. Well, I never knew you were so selfish. Here we are trying to help each other, and you're going... Look, I'll take care of myself. I always have, and I always will. Well, we'll remember that. But someday you're going to need help and need it bad, If I too. do, you can bet it won't be from a bunch of old fossils like you. Leave him alone, Jim. He's got a right to whatever he wants to do. Now, men, we got to figure some safe place to gather our herds to wait for these rangers. Well, that's fine. But don't you think we ought to talk this over in private? We don't want this information to get to the wrong people. Now, we can ride out to my ranch and fix the plans. You better come along, too, Sheriff. Steve, I never knew a man to be so wrong. I'd like to bend you across my knee. If I was your pop... But you're not, Sheriff. Uh, Mr. Brandon, I suppose you're going to tell me just how wrong I am, too. Well, Steve, I'm a gunsmith, not a horse breeder. Then that makes this none of your business. But I am your friend. I've known you and your sister, Julie, since you first came to Westline. And I'm going to hate to see you leave. That's what's going to happen, Steve. Those people are going to make life miserable for you. I'll make out all right. No, you won't. They won't talk to you, sell to you, or buy from you. They'll run you out of town. They can do it, Steve. Because they're right and you're dead wrong. Well, all I said... A lot of wrong words that I don't think you really meant. If I were you, Steve, I'd find out where the meeting place is and... Take your herds over there with the rest of them. Well, I... I'm sure you could straighten things out if you talk to Mr. Foster. He's a pretty understanding person. Sleep on us, Steve. In the morning, go see Foster. Hungry. Sure it does. When we get them horses in the corral, we'll get us some grub and take a rest. You know, we got work to do tonight, getting them into Rainbow Canyon. You're right, Dad. Look. Hey, Steve Barr, what's he doing around here? Well, let's wait and let him tell us. What are you doing trespassing on our property? I came over to talk to your father. I'll do the talking for him. That'll do, Jim. You and Charlie ride on with the herd. I'll catch up with you. Well, Steve, I, uh... I want to apologize for what I said yesterday, Mr. Foster. I've been thinking over what you said, and... Well, I'd like to come in with you and the others. 
Well, now, Steve, I'm mighty glad to hear that. I know the others will be, too. Tonight, we're driving our herds up to... Wait a minute. What's the matter? There's some men over there in the woods. They've spotted us. Mask, too. Probably outlaws. Let's get some help. Oh, Jim! Oh, Jim! It's Dad. Steve Bauer shot him. That'll bring his men back. Let's get out of here. saying thanks, young fella. Who are you? I'm a state ranger. Name's Rocky Lane. Oh, I thought you were one of those outlaws. I'm Steve Bauer. Sorry about that shot. Glad you missed. What's the trouble? Well, those men just shot Mr. Foster, a rancher friend of mine. I tried to catch them, but I guess they were too much for me. We'd better notify the sheriff and get a posse out after him. Right. I'll get my horse. We heard the shot and saw Dad fall. He was dead when we got to him and Steve Bauer was gone. Yeah. All right, you men. Quiet down like you hear what happened. What happened to Steve? The last we saw of him, he was heading off into the hills. It don't make sense that Steve had killed your father, Jim. He didn't. I know he didn't. I saw him, I tell you. Sitting there on his horse with a six-shooter in his hand. I don't believe it. My brother wouldn't kill anybody. Now, don't get all head up, Miss Julie. Wait till we get all the facts. The facts? I just told you what happened. What else do you want? I want to know why Steve would do a thing like this. You heard him yesterday. He thought he was too good for us. My father probably told him off and Steve shot him. He's always been against us. I wouldn't put anything past him. If what you say is right, he'd be brought to justice and given a fair hearing. He'll be in the next county if you sit around here just talking about it. Yeah. Hold your horses. I'm not going to arrest Steve till I hear his side of this. Oh, we're oh. Frank, you stupid fool. 
Why, what Shooting old man Foster. We spotted it. You could have kept out of sight. I told you to follow Steve Bauer and let me know if he talked to Foster. Then I could have found out where they're bringing the herds together. All we've been able to grab so far is a handful of horses. Now we get a chance to get them all and you mess the whole thing up. But the kid did talk to Foster. Maybe you can still find out about the meeting place. Not from Steve. The whole town thinks he killed Foster. And unless we get our hands on him first... We're... Hey, Brink. You're not going no place. You murderer! Hold on. No, I'll take care of Steve. What's the matter? What's going on? You killed my father. I did what? You heard me or are you denying you even saw my father this morning? Well, no, I saw him. I was with him when he was shot, but I didn't have been any... fired recent, too. Well, sure it has. I find that the outlaws are killed, Foster. What outlaws? I never saw any. Nobody did. You kill my father. I've heard enough. Let's string him up. Hold on, gents. Keep out of this, stranger. And you too, Sheriff. We'll deal with him. And I'll get a rope. Calm down till you hear what I've got to say. Now, miss. You don't want to be hung. Get out of town fast. What? Do what I tell you. to find Steve alive, you better head him off. I'll follow this trail here and see where they hole up. That's a darn good idea. Hey, who are you giving me orders? Rocky Lane, State Ranger. Those weren't orders, just a suggestion. A darn good one, too. Meet you back in town, Lane. Come on. Maybe a little stiff, Jim. But nothing to worry about. You drop over to my office in a day or two. Thanks, Doc. Glad it wasn't my shooting arm. Jim, you know Steve couldn't have done it. He wouldn't kill anybody. Sorry, Julie, but I saw him. You let the law take care of this. You stay out of it, Jim. Taking my gun won't stop me. And I'm not keeping out of it. Jim! Take it easy, Miss Julie. You better sit down. Hello, Jim. Sorry about your father. I want a gun. You're not going to do anything foolish, Jim. That's my business. That one will do. Better let me check it over first. All right, but make it fast. Your father was a fine man, Jim. I certainly hope they catch the man who did the shooting. He'll be caught all right. Do you really think it was Steve Bauer? I know it was. Well, there you are, Jim. But please don't do anything you'd be sorry for. After all, there's Thanks. a lot to take. Break. I got that Bauer kid out of the shack, all right. Anybody see him? No. Good. Let's go. He's inside, and he ain't exactly happy. Look here, you. I'm getting... Mr. Brandon. Hello, Steve. I don't understand. What are you doing here? Trying to help you. I saw the trouble you were in back in town, decided you could use some assistance. Yeah, but those men outside are best I could find in the saloon at the time. 
I'll admit they're hardly gentlemen, but they take money and orders and don't ask any questions. After all, they did get you safely out here. Oh, thanks all the same, Mr. Brandon, but I, I can't just hide out. You didn't kill Foster, did you, Steve? No, of course I didn't. Running away isn't going to prove it. I've got to go back. That won't prove it either, Steve. The ranchers are convinced you killed them. They'd hang you before you got a chance. Oh, the sheriff wouldn't let him do it. He's only one man against the whole town. Believe me, if you went back there... Wait here. Howdy, Mr. Brandon. Howdy. You seen anything of Steve Barron and those outlaw friends of his? Not yet. We've been looking for them, too. Thought they might be hiding out here, but no sign of them. Well, when you do find them, sing out. We got a little present for them. Good. Let's go. Still want to go back to town? What can I do? Prove you're innocent. How? I can't identify the killer. Look, I, I was just out there talking to Mr. Foster when all of a sudden a shot came from the woods and he fell. I chased three masked men, but they got away. I don't know who they were or why they killed him. Do you suppose they could have been rustlers nosing around trying to find out where the ranchers were meeting with all the herds? That'd be quite a plum for them. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only way they would find out. The ranchers have kept it a strict secret amongst themselves. That's why I went over to talk to Mr. Foster. I took your advice. I was going to include my herd with the others, and I wanted to find out where the meeting place was. And he told you? No, he was killed first. What difference does it make anyway? Just this, Steve. The chances are that those rustlers will find out where that meeting place is. Now, if you knew, we might be able to get there first and round them up because probably they'll be there to try to get their hands on those horses. Yeah, if I knew, but I don't. I'm hardly in a spot to ask anyone now. No, nor am I. Not being a rancher, it might arouse suspicion. Now, if there was only someone who could offer to include your horses in with the others, then maybe... Well, there's... Wait a minute. Maybe we can find out. How, Steve? To get to my sister, Julie. Have her go to the ranches and say she's decided to include our herd with the others. Then they'd tell her where the meeting place is and she could relay it to me. Might be worth a try after dark tonight. Yes, if she were out at our ranch and I could ride in the back way. Excellent. I'll make sure she'll be out there tonight. Oh, but Steve, please don't mention the fact that I'm trying to help you to anyone. It's the only way I can help. Oh, don't worry about that. I won't even tell Julie. Fine, then I'll meet you back here tonight. Right. Oh, and Mr. Brandon. Thanks. Don't mention it. Glad I can help. I get it. You're letting the kid find out for us where them herds are meeting, and we fix them up, huh? That's right, Brink. Your brain's getting almost as big as your ears. Steve Bauer will be found at the scene of the rustling with a bullet through his head and take all the blame. Connors, you know the Bauer girl? Yeah, I've seen her around. I want you to give her a message. Tell her if she wants to see her brother alive, say nothing to anyone, but be sure and be at her ranch alone tonight. Where'll I find her? She's probably still in town. Get going. Brink, you stay here with the boys and let Bauer think you're trying to help him. I'll act just like my own mother would. Now, Miss Julie, everything's going to be all right. Don't you worry. This man Lane is a ranger and he... Did you find him? I lost the trail. Over some rocks. We ain't giving up. You just going along home. We'll find Steve, all right. You'll let me know the minute you hear anything. Why, of course we will, and don't you go fretting. There ain't nothing going to happen to Steve. You didn't get any line on him at all? Not at all. Well, I guess it's my worry now. You got your hands full with them horses. The ranchers are taking them up to Rainbow Canyon, waiting your orders. We're not counting on leaving for the county seat until sunup tomorrow, when the other rangers get here. I can still help you find Steve. Well, thanks, Lane, but where do we start? I can't figure why Steve would go running off with those outlaws. No more than I can figure out how to work this gadget. He didn't run off with them. They forced him to go. I saw one of them holding a gun on him. Where'd you get that? Well, a drummer gave it to me last time he was in town. Bet me $5 I couldn't work it before he came back. 
Why did they grab Steve? What did they want with him? We'll have to find one of the outlaws to answer that. This is quite a trick. Yeah, that drummer worked you just, just like that. You play with that one, I got another in here. By golly, I'm not going to arrest Steve. Why not? If he's guilty, it's your job to arrest him. If he's innocent, you'll be keeping him from getting strung up. What is it? A fellow across the street. What about him? He could be one of the gunmen who grabbed Steve. Tan hat, striped shirt, and a vest. Golly, Lane, a lot of folks dress that way. They're not riding a horse with those same markings. Come on. Miss Julie. Same place. Same white feet and back. Same horse. He's going in the gun shop. Trying to shake loose of us. Do we grab him when he comes out? We're not waiting for that. We're going in. It's the sheriff. Some other guy. They've spotted my horse. They can't prove anything. You've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Only my neck. You've got to help me. They're headed this way. I'll move around back in case he makes a break. One of them's going around the back. Get him if he comes in. You're trapped in there, mister. You better come out with your hands high. Cover the back door. Started shooting before I could stop him. Good thing you own the gun shop, Mr. Brandon. You know? No, but I wish I had. We might have gotten some information out of him. The ranger spotted him as one of the men that rode into town for Steve. Ranger? Oh, I see. I'm sorry, but I had to protect myself. Of course you did. I'll send the corner over after him. See you in the office, Lane. Thanks, Sheriff. Glad I met you, Ranger. Likewise. Well, they're bearing our last clue. What do you know about this, Mr. Brandon? Brandon? Oh, he ain't got nothing to do with this. He's a friend of Steve's and a fine, upright citizen. No, we ain't got a thing to go on. Maybe we have. I'd kind of like to know what that outlaw said to Miss Julie. Well, it couldn't have been anything about Steve or she'd have told us. Not if she was scared, she wouldn't. Scared? Yeah. How far is it out to their ranch? About five miles east of town, but if she's scared like you said, she ain't gonna tell us anything. And we can't just go busting in. We won't bust in. It'll be dark by the time we get there. We'll look the ranch over and we might find a lead to what's scaring her. Let's start now, huh? Of course, I didn't kill him. They ought to know that. I know it, Steve. Thanks, Julie. It's a good thing somebody else feels the same way or I'd be swinging on the end of a rope right now. Who is this man that's helping you anyway? I can't tell you that. But everybody in town thinks that you're in with outlaws. Julie, they're not outlaws. They're trying to help me. Let's 
take a look around back. Why not go to the sheriff in that Ranger Lane? They'll help you, I'm sure they will. Not until we get proof. It wouldn't be fair to the man who's helping. Now look, you've got to work fast. Find out where the herds are meeting and leave a message for me at the old Anderson place by midnight tonight. You remember that hollow tree where we used to play when we were kids? Yes. Good, leave the message in that hollow. And don't talk to anybody. Steps. It's the sheriff. Get rid of him as quick as you can. How do you do, miss? Why, Mr. Lane. Sheriff, what are you doing out here? Well, we, we was just riding by, me and Lane, and, well... Uh, uh, sorry to bother you, Miss Julie. We're looking for Steve. What? What makes you think he'd be here? We thought we'd just take a look around. Do you mind if we come in? No, come right in. You can look for yourself. I don't know what makes you think he'd be here or why I'd be Miss Julie, here. we ain't accused you of nothing. We just thought it might be that uh, he'd uh, come back here, this being his house and all. Well, you can see that he's not here. Yes, I can see he's not here, but we thought, uh, well, we was wondering maybe you'd heard something from him. Why, Sheriff, don't you think I'd have told you if I had? Or don't you believe me? Oh, of course we believe you, Miss Julie. I don't know what we're doing here anyhow, Lane. It was my idea that we came out here, Miss Julie. Just naturally suspicious. Part of my job. Julie Bauer, what are you doing? Smoking. It's the latest fad in St. Louis. Now then, Mr. Lane, what do you suspect me of? I was wondering about that man you were talking to in town after you left the sheriff's office. Why, well, he was just one of the men in town. He was asking me about Steve. Are you sure he didn't tell you about Steve? He was one of the men who took him out of town. Well, think carefully, because... Steve! He was there all the time. Let me go. Please let me go. Give me a chance to help myself. You ain't gonna help yourself none by running away. Well, you think I'm gonna stand still and let those people in town string me up? There ain't gonna be no stringing up while I'm sheriff. I've told you that before. You're going back to town with us. No, he ain't, Sheriff. Drop it. Get them guns. I kind of figured you'd need some help, Steve, so me and the boys follows you out here. Come on, I'll ride back to town with you. You two stay here. You're making a mistake, Steve. What are you gonna do with them? Well, nothing. The boys are just gonna hold them here till we get away. All right, but no gunplay. Don't go with them, Steve. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but they're helping me. Don't worry, sis, no one's gonna get hurt. Fred, come here. Give us a little time, then you know what to do. Yeah, I know. Get their horses. Come on, you two. We're heading you back to town. What do you bet we don't make it? You talk too much. Come on.
too bad we couldn't have gotten him alive. Yeah. I'll get one of the ranch hands to ride in for the corner. Then we can have that talk with Miss Julie. Steve didn't tell me the name of the man who was helping him. He just said find out where the meeting place was for the herds and to let him know. That's what they're working Steve for, trying to get at them horses. But Steve said they're trying to help him. They got a mighty funny way of helping him. They never meant for the sheriff and I to get back to town alive. Yes. Guess I was wrong. We've got to get him away from those outlaws before it's too late. I can't figure out who'd sell him a bill of goods like that. Now, where did he ask you to leave the message? In an old hollow tree at Anderson Creek, by midnight tonight. I know where that is, about a half mile off the west road. All right, Miss Julie. Write him the note. But tell him that you can't get the information that he wants until early tomorrow morning. Tell him you'll meet him then. Where would be a good place for her to meet him? Well, let me think. I know. The barn at the old Brownlee Ranch. All right. The Brownlee Ranch. Well, why couldn't we just grab Steve when he comes out to the tree to get that note? Well, if he comes, we will. But if they send one of their gunmen to pick it up, at least they'll find the note and won't get suspicious. You're right. Miss Judy, you better get going. You only got about an hour. And don't you worry. We'll be there, too. Oh, not we. Just me. But why? Because the outlaws think both of us are dead. The less we show ourselves, the better. Two of us are easier to spot than one, so you better keep out of sight. I guess you're right, but I'll head you in the direction of Anderson Creek and then sneak back into town. Good. Let's go. Uh, Miss Julie, you better get started, too. Right.
heard that noise, I got out of there fast. Figured it was one of the ranchers. Probably so. Maybe we should let Brink ride out to the Brownlee place in the morning. After all, we don't want anything to happen to you. No, I, I better go myself. I don't think Julie would trust anyone else. Don't worry, I'll be all right. I just hope Julie finds out where the meeting place is. Yeah, so do I. Maybe I should have stayed with Lane and the sheriff. They seemed willing to help. There's time enough for that when we get some proof. Yes, but I don't like putting you in danger, too. Now, don't you worry about me, Steve. I know what I'm doing. You just get that information in the morning, then we'll be able to act. All right, Mr. Brandon. See you in the morning. Good boy. Send Brink in to me at the gun shop as soon as he shows up. And what about the sheriff and Lane? <laughs> you don't need to worry about them anymore. Got them both, eh? Good. The kid's going to meet his sister around sunup out at the Brownlee place. She says she can tell him then where the meeting place will be. That ain't giving as much time. I know, but it's the best we can do. Now, as soon as he leaves you, round up all the men and meet me at the shack. Then when he gets back... <laughs> Jim. It's not too late for what I want. You fixed that new gun you sold me just fine, didn't you? Yes, I did, Jim, for your own good. I didn't want you to get in trouble. Well, you can put it back in order. All right, Jim. Pick it up in the morning, will you? It's too late. I want it now. Steve Bowers meeting his sister out at the Brownlee place at sunrise. And I'm going to be there, waiting for him. Are you sure? I saw a letter she wrote him. Have you told the law about this? It'll be easier that way. The law. They're working with him. I had him spotted out at Anderson Creek. That gun misfired, and then that new ranger roped me off my horse. He'd been waiting there all the time. If you ask me, he's no ranger at all. He's a fake. Are you fixing that gun? Yes, Jim, it works fine now. What are you... Sorry, son, I want to talk to you. Come in here and sit down. What's the idea? Now calm down and listen to reason. Do you think you're going to talk me out? I to tell you something, that's all. Seems to me Steve is mixed up with a gang of rustlers. Wouldn't surprise me. But how do you figure that? Well, judging from those outlaws that got him out of town this afternoon, he's not alone. He might be in with that gang that's been raiding his territory. If, as you say, Lane's working with him, he could tell him where the ranchers are meeting with all the horses. And that can mean only one thing. They're going to rustle those herds. That makes sense. But he's not going to find out about that meeting place. Because I'm going to kill him first. Oh, it would help the ranchers more if we could save the horses, Jim. It's up to us. Maybe you're right, Mr. Brandon. There we are. Now, if we just knew where this meeting place was, I could get some of the men around town and we could help protect those herds. But they're going to be on the move a little after sunup. Do you suppose you could get enough men by then? I'm sure I could. Where's the meeting place? They're meeting at Rainbow Canyon. They've been bringing their horses in there all night. I see. Now, Jim. You go out to that place where Steve is meeting his sister. I'll have a couple of men meet you there. They'll help you grab Steve and Lane if he's mixed up in this. It's the best way, Jim. Believe me. All right. But I'm not going to promise about what I'll do or won't do when I catch up with them. Good night, Jim. Hey, I thought Lane was dead. How could he be? I pay you to act, not think. And right now, you're being overpaid. Wayne's alive, so there's going to be a slight change of plan. Yeah. Now that we know where the herds are, we can take care of that kid up at the shack. Not at the shack. Out at the Brownlee place. I want some of the boys to meet Jim there. If Jim doesn't kill him, the boys will. Then they can take care of Jim at the same time. And Lane, if he shows up, which he probably will. I'll do it myself. No. Let Ed, Jenny, and Pete handle it. 
You head the rest of the men over to Rainbow Canyon. I'll meet you two miles out on the south road. All right. And make it fast, Brink. It'll be set up pretty soon. Hey, Sheriff. Who? It's daylight. Let me ride out to the Brownlee place with you, Rocky. I'm tired of being dead. Well, give me 15 minutes head start. Then you can come to life. You wait here in town for the Rangers. And while you're waiting, see if you can find that foster kid. If I do, I'll clap him in jail. As soon as I find out who's behind Steve, I'll be back. You better make it quick. Them ranchers are waiting for you at the canyon. I know it. Haven't you figured that thing out yet? No, gosh, blame it. Pretty quick, I'm going to saw them in two. As soon as we clear up this business, I'll show you how to do it. You mean you know how? I used to work these things when I was little. Well, I'll be darned. Remember now, 15 minutes. I won't forget. Goodbye, Rocky. Let's get to those rocks over there. Steve, all right. Hold it, kid. Wait till we see who's with him. Julie? Julie! She won't be here, Steve. Keep your hand away from there. Julie's working against me, too. No, she's working for you, Steve. Sure, it looks like it. Turning me over to the law. She's trying to get you away from those outlaws who claim to be your friend. Outlaws? I don't believe you. Well, maybe you will after I tell you what happened at your ranch last night. He's still in the barn. I'm moving up close to that water trough. So, if you want to clear yourself, you better tell me who's been helping you. How do I know this, this isn't a trick? You might be. You're in the barn. Come out, you're covered. That's Jim Foster. That kid's messing up everything. We'd do better without him. I'm coming in for you, Bauer. That shot came from those rocks over there. Hold your fire! There, cover me. just passed out. You stay by the door. Keep him down. It's Lane at the wagon.
get away from here. You got it wrong about Steve. He didn't kill your father. But I saw him. I, I tell you. I know how it looked, Jim. Somebody shot him from the woods while we were talking. Did you know those gunmen were outside here? Yeah, they came with me. But he told me they weren't going to shoot you. He? Who do you mean? Brandon. He figured you two were mixed up with the rustlers. Brandon told you that? But he's the one who's been helping me. Mm-hmm. What else did he tell you? Well, he thought the herds were going to be rustled, and he was going to get some in and help protect them. Well, he couldn't, Jim. He doesn't know where the meeting place is. He does now. I told him. Well, it looks to me like Mr. Brandon is playing everything down the middle. Uh, do you suppose you could ride to town, Jim? Sure. Hell. Tell the sheriff to bring the rangers out to Rainbow Canyon as fast as he can. All right. What if he thinks it's a trick? He knows I was gunning for Steve. Give him this. It'll prove you've been talking to me. After we get you on your horse, Steve and I are going to ride out to Rainbow Canyon to see what we can do about stopping those rustlers. Now, come on. Careful. And there's a camp. Come on, we'll jump them first. Figure on surrounding the ranchers. Hold it. There's too many of them. Come on. Get around back of the herd and start shooting. I'll take this side. Close the door. 
Get that dust off your clothes. Act like we've been here all the time. Somebody must have tipped off the sheriff. Yeah, but he couldn't see us out there. He's too far away. What's the matter, Brandon? He left Rainbow Canyon in kind of a hurry. I don't think I understand what you mean. I think you do. You and that ugly... Maybe you need some help, Rocky. I see you don't. Thanks just the same, Steve. Jim wanted me to thank you for him too, Rocky. He'd have come down himself, but the doctor won't let him get out of bed till his leg gets well. I just wish there was some way we could show our appreciation. Well, I tried, sis. I offered Rocky the pick of our horses. Much obliged, Steve. The Blackjack and I have been pals for a long time. Speaking of horses, I better get started if I'm going to catch up with that herd. Uh, Rocky, wait a minute. That crazy drummer's back in town. You ain't showed me how to take these things apart. Thank golly, that's right. <laughs> Very simple. Well, what do you know? I did it. I mean, you did. <laughs> well, Sheriff, mighty nice to see you again. <laughs> yes, it sure is. You ain't gonna think so when you see what I got. You owe me five bucks. So long, Sheriff. Miss Julie, Steve. Good luck to you. So long, Rocky. So long, Rocky. Thanks again. I'll owe you the five dollars after you get them back together again. That's the rest of the trick. You can leave the money at the hotel for me. <laughs> Rocky! Rocky, come back! 